So I was playing some awesome vinyl today, but I also came across like the worst thing that ever happened in the world of vinyl, in my opinion. And it all happened when playing Heavy D and the Boys, Nothing But Love. And it's something I really don't like. Let's dig a bit deeper into that. Hi, I'm the Hip Hop Collector. HipHopCollector.com The world of vinyl, awesome, fantastic, love it. I must say that in the beginning I bought some tapes. Afterwards, I was more like a CD collector because I didn't have a turntable back then nor did I have the money to buy one. That happened later on and I started collecting vinyl as well. I really adore vinyl. It's so whew, smooth, nicely, the sound, little cracks. Love it. I also like the CDs and the tapes. Don't get me wrong, CDs, there was much more available back then. Not everything was released on vinyl. And the tapes, yeah, those are classics. Yet, today playing lots of vinyl I came across the heavy D and the boys nothing but love vinyl and then it struck me again like who on earth started doing this you probably hear it already when I take it out no this ain't it who on earth had the idea to, let's put it into plastic. It's so freaking annoying to put it in there. Sometimes the plastic goes all the way into the sleeve. It's so annoying. Plus, it ain't good for the environment. And the cool thing is that at the same time I was playing some other vinyl, I was playing the MC Light the cappuccino 12 inch from 89 or 90 and the fun fact is of course it is on paper the paper sleeve awesome but a fun fact like I mentioned I don't know if you can read it Printed on recycled paper. Awesome. 1989-1990. And yet someone started to use this. Oh, I really. Jesus. No, wrong. Worst thing in the world of vinyl, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts about this. I hate it. I've said it, I hate it. I want paper, it's much nicer. Let me know in the comments. See you on the next episode. Peace.